add the outcome that they're trying to achieve. And for you, Joel, this is huge, right? What's, man, congratulations on opening your second location, right, of uh, uh, Dos Anjos Tacos. It's freaking awesome. Um, we just had a curiosity, with the new location, where are you guys at right now in terms of top line revenue? Where do you want to be? Let's say everything was great, you guys were booked, as much as you could be booked, what's kind of your end goal for the two locations for Dos Anjos? Man, that's a great question, right? And by the way, they're gonna appreciate that you asked that. And most restaurateurs are gonna know that number like that. I right? did four, $4 million last year with the uh, single location. What we'd like to do, because this new location, we were actually able to get in a little bit better neighborhood and it's larger. We got eight additional tables there. We wanna do six million at that location. So 10 million total between the new locations? Yes, yes. Yeah. If I could do 11, my life changes. Now, hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to move forward with Open Table so we can get you on that path to 11 million. I'm on my mobile, 720-660-3202. Now listen to the two different messages, listen to the three different messages. Option A, hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to sign the contract. Nobody wants to sign contracts, but I get it. It's still pretty dang skillful. Number two, hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to move forward with Open Table. That's pretty good. This is really good, in my opinion. Hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to move forward with Open Table so we can get you on that path to doing $11 million between the two locations. I'm on my mobile. Now you're reminding me. Damn it, yes, out of the 5,000 fires, and with restaurateurs, sometimes it really is a fire, right out of the hood. The hood on our freaking burner's not working, and <laughs> big flames and we're getting smoke, right? They, a restaurateur has a million reasons not to call you back, Joel, but if you remind them that their mission in life is to hit $11 million so they can do what they really wanna do, which is open an Aspen, Colorado location and retire there, right? These are all things you guys are like, man, that's crazy. That would never happen. Of course it would never happen because we're not asking these people questions. Like what's your, just out of curiosity, what's your biggest reason for wanting an open table? Uh, we need more reservations. When you say you need more reservations, can you give me a specific example? Yeah, we're, we've opened a second location and eh, we're kind of freaked out. You know, we want to make sure that that one's full. When you say full, like w what are your thoughts? Like let's say you had both locations, boom, 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 firing on all cylinders and a way that you could have reservations coming into pretty much all the time you're booked. What are we looking at in terms of where are you at right now in terms of financial revenue? Where would you like to be? in terms of financial revenue. Man, I'd like to be at 10. 10, now how does that 10 break out? Four million for the first location, six. I know, it sounds like a big goal. Six, we wanna do six million at this other location because we've got eight additional tables and it's in a better location. I mean, ideally, if I could do 11 million, my life really changes. Just out of curiosity, how's your life changed at 11? I'd be well on my way to, it sounds stupid, Joel, but, um, I've always been a skier. Uh, we're you know, stuck here in Arizona right now. Man, I would love it. My, my dream, if I could get both these locations off the ground, my dream would be to open one in Aspen, Colorado and retire there before I'm too old to ski. When would you like to do that by? 2026, right? Now think about when you go, hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to move forward so we can get both these locations firing on all cylinders, hopefully break that $11 million mark so we can get you to Aspen a little bit sooner than 2026. I'm on my mobile. Dude, now you just, not only did you get a sale, but now you have a freaking friend. Like Joel gets it. Joel's on Team Aspen. Joel is, knows my mission. And guys, if we slow the hell down in the beginning, you can leave messages like that. And here's the beautiful thing about this. Your message, and if whoever it is answers the phone, your talk track is the exact same. Okay, and now here's where it gets a little weird when they answer. You have to resist this. Hello, hey Matt, it's Joel with Open Table. How's it going? Oh, going good, going good. You have to jump right in, and it's gonna be a long sentence, and it's gonna feel a little bit weird, because you're gonna be talking before you allow them to speak. They're gonna say hello. Hey Matt, Joel with Open Table, calling to see if it makes sense to move forward so we can get you on that path to 11 mil, hopefully get you to Aspen a little bit sooner. Unload that. Now let them answer. 
Oh man, Matt, yes, thank you for reminding me. It absolutely does. Yeah, I had sent over the agreement about a, a week ago. Um, I might be missing something on my end, but I didn't see that it went through. Yeah, we had a fire with uh, one of our you know, gas grills and the hood was all screwed up. And I, But yes, this is something I want to... You want to log in there right now while I got you on the phone? Yeah, let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I see it right here. I'm going to sign. Is there anything else you need from me? Nope, we're good to go. Congratulations. Hey, by the way, I'm writing it down on my end. Mission Aspen 2026. I want to get you there a little bit. Had anything you need from me or open table, welcome aboard. What happens next? Uh, team's going to reach out to you with some links so you can start uploading your photos. But I'm here for you every step of the way. Also, you couldn't do me a small favor, could you, Matt? Sure. What is it? If you happen to know anybody else like yourself that's growing, that's got restaurants, I'm not saying your competition, but you know, typically people like you have other friends in the business. Don't worry. I don't want to know their names. I don't want to know their phone numbers. I don't want to know their emails. I don't want anything about them. Would you let them know how easy it was to do business with me, how great the service has been from open table and how happy you are with the results? Yeah, sure. You just let them know you're my guy, right? And if they need to go to Aspen too, I'll do what I can to help them, right? Boom. You just had in like two minutes, 37 seconds, the single most skillful sales conversation anybody could have. But we can never have those because we don't slow down and ask people what their mission is. What's the financial result they're trying to achieve? What's the big thing that they want from their business or in their life? Great question, long answer, but it yeah, will help you. Know I, I, like literally man that was like spot on so i'm sorry that everyone had to like listen to that but he just like encapsulated like the whole process like mine's good but that's perfect so it was great yeah because and here's the day no no offense okay joel no offense because i love me some open table and i don't want you logging in i don't even know how to use the points i probably have a million of them but i'm just gonna say it nobody freaking buys open table because it's a cool app okay and they don't buy open table because they want seats in their restaurant. They want seats in their restaurant so they don't go out of business at the worst. They want the seats filled in their restaurant so they can open another location. They want to be able to send their kid to that college that they always dreamed of that they couldn't go to themselves. And it's really weird. But even as an open table representative, you can have that level of conversation. It starts with, what's your biggest reason for blank? What's your biggest reason for wanting an open table? Well, I need to get seats, right? Now walk them. Can you give me a specific example? Just out of curiosity, what's kind of that next big milestone that you want to hit? Man, I want to send my daughter to LMU. It's 80,000 bucks a year, okay? Boom, you can have these conversations. And then in your, this is why I hate and love CRMs. I hate CRMs because they're like, Joel, what stage is that in the stage five deal? means nothing, right? So that's supposed to come in next month. But if your CRM had one little line, Dos Anjos Tacos, two locations, 11 million, Mission, Aspen, 2026, like one sentence. Now you could work 300 opportunities and seem like and actually be the single most engaged, insightful, and intuitive person that that restaurant has ever worked with because you've got that little reminder note in your CRM when you call Joel back in a month. Hey, Joel, it's Matt with Open Table calling to see if it makes sense to get you guys started so we can get both locations firing on all cylinders, hit that $11 million mark so we can get you to Aspen hopefully a little sooner than 2026. I'm on my mobile, 720-660-3202. Okay, now listen to how I said that too. I did, hey Joel, hey buddy, ski season's coming up, my man. Calm, cool, collected. If you work in sales and you need to make twice as much money as you do right now to really enjoy your life, you've really only got three options. Option number one, you can continue to work your butt off in the job you have right now, hoping for some sort of miracle to happen, where you start taking home double the money while doing things the exact same way you do them right now. That's pretty unlikely. Or option number two, you could look for another job at a totally different company, hoping you're gonna catch some sort of once in a lifetime wave where sales just seem to flow your way. All right, again, highly unlikely, and we both know waves in sales, well, they don't last very long. Or option number three, you can click the button here and get instant access to a simple, straightforward sales process that will help you take home twice as much money as you do right now while putting in far less effort than you do today.
My name is Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University, the most effective sales coaching system in the world. If you click the button, you're going to see how our interactive sales coaching portal in weekly live coaching sessions with me will help you double your income within 60 days. Easton University is more than an interactive sales coaching portal. It's more than being able to ask me questions in a live setting every single week. It's your future and you and your future are worth it. Click the button, I will see you on the other side. Your life is about to get a lot better. Click through now.